What is up everybody? Stud City here and today I have an exciting video. We're going to be going through the top 10 illegal Lego building techniques. So before we get into that guys, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video as I have some really really cool techniques that I want to share with you guys. The first building technique starts with two 2x2 two two tiles and also four 1x6 tiles. You can even use uh, different ones, either they're one by twos or one by fours or one by eights, but I just did one by six for the purpose of the video. You're gonna go ahead and stick those in the two by two tiles and you're gonna just stack the last one on top. And now you have this awesome looking pillar slash column. And I actually think this is really cool. If you use the right colors, I know I use miscellaneous colors here just for the fun, but if you do some really cool colors, I think you can make some really, really cool buildings and techniques out of this, maybe with studs on top to stack them. The next technique we're going to use, I'm going to call it the cheese wedge sandwich. You're going to need four cheese wedges and some plates on whatever size you decide to use. Uh, but this is actually really cool. You can make some really creative tables or, you know, you can end up going to kind of like a snot brick out of it. So uh, it's really, really a cool technique. But essentially, you just slide those cheese wedges as so into the plate uh, in the four corners and it come out, comes out something like that. And then you can actually go ahead and snap uh, another plate on top which actually looks really really cool and leaves a little gap uh, in the middle of it maybe hide some gems or treasures uh, you, you can really use this in a lot of different ways and building techniques and I really think being creative here can get you pretty far with this technique uh, it's something that's pretty unique this next technique we're gonna go through is actually really cool so you could take kind of like any brick uh, and then some one by two modified plates um, that have some you know holders uh, kind of like a Lego arm piece uh, and you can essentially slide tiles into them uh, now this is actually an illegal move because it does cause stress on the Lego pieces so that is why it's considered it's a little weird that Lego uh, gives you tiles in some of the CMF packages but overall still a really cool technique to accomplish a lot of different uh, things our next technique is going to involve some vent pieces. Uh, these are actually pretty useful. Go ahead. I went ahead and made a little bit of a design on this one, uh, just on a uh, two by eight brick. Uh, but essentially you could slide a window piece in between these vents and kind of get something pretty unique and different uh, that you don't see in any official Lego sets. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. You know, it doesn't uh, stay in place as you can just see there as it is fallen, uh, but it is a different building technique and you can actually establish some pretty cool builds if you have uh, maybe bigger glass panes in this instance, but uh, overall a really different and cool illegal technique. Our next building technique involves some snot bricks and some miscellaneous uh, Technic pieces. Uh, these are actually pretty cool. Uh, you can actually establish some really, really creative builds with this. Uh, you know, the possibilities are endless in making wall designs out of this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, you can stack bricks on top of it. Uh, you can even add tiles into those uh, little like holders pieces that are Technic. But overall, something that is really, really cool. Uh, I would love to make a wall and just kind of see where I can go with this one. Because uh, really, guys, like I said, the possibilities are pretty endless with this, uh, you know, illegal <laughs> Lego technique. Uh, let me know what you think of this one. It's actually really cool uh, if you were to stack bricks like that uh, and kind of just run away with it from there. Our next technique is actually uh, pretty unique. It involves a Technic little pin as such, and uh, you can use uh, two by two bricks or two by fours, um, stuff like that. But essentially, this one uh, kind of failed just because these bricks were so loose, they would just fall right out. So I went ahead and grabbed and experimented with some that are uh, maybe not as damaged, uh, but these right here, this blue and brown two by two brick, uh, they stayed together quite well. Uh, they didn't fall out. And I just think, you know, having studs on both sides is a pretty cool building technique that happens to be illegal. Next, you can go ahead and grab yourself some plates because I want you to try this one on your own. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to do and it is considered illegal because it does cause stress uh, on the actual plate here in this case being the 2x10 that I used uh, it, it, they fit in very nicely and snug uh, but it does cause this plate to warp at just the slightest movement making it illegal but it's actually really cool even though I didn't stack these in perfect order but it, it, it really does be like it's a really cool technique uh, this one I, I really do like. Did someone order snot bricks? 
Maybe not. These are Technic. <laughs> but you can actually take these Technic pieces right here, and instead of inserting those Technic pins, you can actually put these little one by one cylinders or one by one studs into the holes and they are very snug and are actually hard to take apart so it's actually a, like another useful technique you can use in mock building uh, and stuff like that you can add some really cool textures maybe a mock lego store as a pick a brick wall you can really accomplish a lot doing this way those are just some ideas off the top of my head our next building technique is actually something i used in creating the lego ideas medieval blacksmith uh, this one's actually really frustrating and i find a very very hard time uh, to accomplish but basically you could take a plate as such and stick these little one by ones in between the four studs on the plate it's actually really really hard to do so guys uh, and it's pretty hard to get out as well you kind of need a brick separator separator to uh you know remove them but getting them in you know it's kind of frustrating you have to put a lot of force and it's it's, I just found it really difficult. I actually got frustrated and couldn't put this one in. But uh, it's actually a really good building technique to establish. Uh, you can accomplish different, you know, techniques with this and different styles of building and add different little effects, which I think is really cool. Maybe you can, you know, build on a slant by doing something like this. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this one. It's actually very different. Um, again, it was in the blacksmith set, which I found kind of peculiar. Our last method we're gonna show is pretty simplistic. I just grabbed a one by four plate and some modified one by ones with these little uh, kind of hook ends, kind of like minifigure ends. Uh, but essentially you could just kind of shove them into the back of a plate and they hold themselves just fine. They grab on to this kind of like stud holders and plates. Uh, and actually, you know, it's, it's kind of useful. It's kind of like a snot uh, plate. Uh, but again, you can do some really cool stuff with this. If you don't have some stop pieces, you can kind of incorporate this to get around it, which I think is pretty useful. So I hope that helps, guys. I hope that uh, helps you with some of that snot plates. But essentially, guys, that is 10 creative different building techniques that you can use that are essentially illegal in the Lego uh, world. Uh, now, I actually kind of threw in a funny picture here that I, uh, I made, uh, but it kind of is you know messes with your mind a little bit but definitely comment below if you understand what's going on in this picture because it definitely took me a while to kind of understand this but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was pretty different i've never done a video like this so definitely let me know how you feel in the comments below uh, if you found it useful uh give me a thumbs up you know give me some feedback i always encourage it and of course guys uh if you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content in our future. And I just thank you so much for staying tuned to the end. Bye, guys.